This is what science is. It's mostly tedious work <laughs> with a little bit of uh, bleep of excitement once in a while when you find out something interesting. Years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's basically is it. Okay. Questions? No? All right. So let's walk into the into the stand. The one thing if you look at at, at uh, global global scale models that predict climate they are fairly certain about about the increase in, in temperature uh, although they disagree with uh, how much the temperature will, in, will increase they pretty much agree that the temperature will increase but but in terms of precipitation that is that is one of the weakest part of most of those models and they quite disagree as to where uh, where we will find higher precipitation rates and where we will find lower precipitation rates. The global precipitation rate is supposed to increase because, the, because of acceleration of the, of the hydrological cycle. So more will evaporate, more, more will precipitate. But where the precipitation will occur exactly and where we'll have more or less, we are not sure. And this is one of the areas that they, they pretty much disagree on, on, on what's the future. For instance, we have a lot of bags of plant material, but we basically need to separate leaf material from wood material. And I'm going to have those stockpiled over here um, on the outside of the bag. Sometimes you'll have a big bag like this, sometimes you'll have a paper sack. But on the outside of every bag is written information. Whenever you do science, it's really important to take good notes, keep a field notebook, and label everything that you do in the field. You always want to include date. So in this case, this, this material is collected on the 11th from ring three in a control plot. The species is list, liquid ambar styracifluor, and the part of the project is the less than two centimeter collection. So the first thing you'll do, each um, tarp will have a Sharpie. You'll want to get yourself a fresh bag a paper sack depending on how much material you have and label that sack with the same information here. To figure out how big a sack you want, just dump, it out. Just dump this right in the middle. You want to make sure before you dump out your bag that your tarp is clean of anything, any leaves and debris that's fallen. Then you end up with the sample <laughs> to be sorted. I find that People generally are more comfortable sitting on the ground for a while, then they'll kind of switch to the stools and switch back and forth. Change up as you wish. Involved in the next uh, project to <laughs> All right. We're blowing away. <laughs> We're losing 17 years of research. <laughs>